Charlie Brown. Founder and chairman of Zap. And how long has you been your company uh, uh, this, been around? This company started in 1994, and uh. I have been involved in the electric vehicle industry since 1974. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are some of the very early models uh, uh, on show here as well? Well, we we have almost a museum of various electric vehicles, but we also have our production vehicles, which to our knowledge, our first vehicles ever mass produced in China and actually mass sold in the United States. Okay. Everything we do is electric, and so we, we started our smallest vehicle, which is a, some people call it like a low cost Segway, it's a scooter you can stand up and ride. And This incorporates uh, wheel motor technology. You can see the front wheel. So it doesn't have any belts, any transmission, any chains. The motor is the hub of the wheel. And then we have larger vehicles, such as this full-size scooter. And again, this utilizes the wheel motor technology as well. So again, no, no belts, no chains. It's a very efficient system. And we also have ATVs, all-terrain vehicles, again, all, all electric, so oh, yeah. no gas. And this is another big polluting market that's, you know, there's millions of ATVs now sold in the world. Oh, yeah. And they are very polluting and also very noisy. Oh, yeah. All electric, so no emissions at all, and mm -hmm. almost silent. Mm -hmm. And then we have our, what we call our Zebra, it's spelled with an X, and our goal with this vehicle was to see how cost effective to make an electric vehicle, because a lot of people say electrics are too expensive and that's why we don't see them. This is a, a electric vehicle that can be driven in the city and carry four people at a time and retails in the U.S. for about $10,000. Uh, are you uh, thinking of exporting these uh, to other countries than yeah, the United we, States? we just began. We just huh? began. We made some shipments to Denmark and to huh? the U.K. Huh? Uh, and there's actually a potential distributor from Switzerland mm. here last week. Oh. Uh, the standard batteries go about 25 miles, and we have upgraded battery for about 40 miles. Mm. And in about a month's time, we'll have a lithium battery that can go 75 miles. So the, the, the standard battery is still lead acid? Yes. Uh, yes. And then the lithium is the... But the car will be much more expensive than you put putting... in. Right. So, you know, it, but it, it's still... Even with the lithium pack, yeah. this vehicle could sell for under 20000 okay. And then this is our, one of our most popular vehicles mm -hmm. now. It's our little electric zap truck. Mm -hmm. And... The truck can operate as a normal pickup truck, it can operate as a flatbed, and it can also tilt, as you can see down here, as a dump truck as well. Both these vehicles, we don't have one in the showroom right now, kind of have solar options. Mm, that's very interesting. They have solar cells on the top, where they can get part of their charging from the sun. If you leave the car on a sunny day, how long uh, uh, does it need to get uh, If your commute's very short, it will do it, um, you know, about three to five miles of just the sun. Uh -huh. So, and again, a lot of people have very short commutes. Uh -huh. um, the other thing about solar is it actually makes the batteries last longer mm -hmm. because all batteries like to be kept uh -huh. dark. If you're in a city application or fleet or post office app, you can charge in Literally, it's less than an hour. Mm -hmm. so kind of looks like a gas filling station, yeah, yeah. except it's an electric device. Right. And then we also have a larger truck version. Huh. Uh, this is for larger payloads. Mm. 
What would uh, uh, a Zap truck? Uh, this one only sells for about twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars. Right. Well. Okay, so this is a vehicle we're working on that would be a larger highway crossover type vehicle. We just began the design work with Lotus. This will have in wheel hub motors, drives. This will have a 350 mile range, 150 mile per hour top end speed. Four wheel drive? Four wheel drive, correct. Oh. And 10 minute recharge, is right. that? How is that possible? Uh, again, <laughs> battery technology can't take it. You just need a large uh, uh, power system. Uh, 155 miles an hour. A lot of people talk about global warming, but if you really look at the economics and the numbers, the two best things you can do is one, substitute a gas car for an electric car. So if you take that gas out and put an electric in, you can save about 10,000 pounds a year of carbon dioxide per minute in the atmosphere. Mm. Now, there's been a lot of talk about carbon trading, yeah, 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 carbon yeah. credits. So that is the most cost-effective thing you can do. Take a mm. gas car out to the market, put an electric in. The second most is to plant trees. And, but it takes, if you really look at the numbers, about 200 trees to offset the carbon dioxide of one gas car. So we're contracting with, with people in developing countries so that every time someone buys an electric car from us, we plant 200 trees in, in a developing country so that you're getting a true carbon emission reduction two ways. One, substituting your gas for the electric, and two, we're planting lots of trees. And so far, we've already planted over 60,000 trees. We recently planted 1,000 trees in China to commemorate building our cars in China. My name is Brad and I work for Zap and this is the warehouse where we um, bring the cars in and uh, get them ready to be assemb final assembled um, and then get ready to ship. To uh, they, the, the cars are manufactured in China? They're manufactured in China uh. and some come with batteries and controllers and some uh. don't and uh. depending on what they need and uh. what the customer orders is, is uh, the uh. way we build it. At we the moment, the batteries are still mainly uh, uh, lead uh, acid? Um, they're lead with a, a gel cell yeah. or glass mat, AGMs mm -hmm. or gel cells. Mm -hmm. um, the, they're not wet batteries because they're just wet batteries are too hard to maintain mm -hmm. and um, they're too hazardous to, to, to handle. Mm -hmm. These are all for the U.S. and they're three-wheel vehicles so that they can be registered as a motorcycle. The passenger cars are um, four-seater passenger cars, uh -huh. and the trucks are called a PK, uh -huh. and the passenger cars are called sedans, uh -huh. and they're all zebras. You can come from the street and get into the parking lot, and you can pay them. Yeah. So this is a brand new one. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a brand new one. It's and just been uh, it's just been built, and it has a mile on it. A mile. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, you know, the more you drive them, the better they get because the more they get charged and yeah. the better the batteries get um, conditioned and um, the, the farther they'll start going, uh -huh. uh, the more the battery's conditioned. Uh -huh. And you just, the, it's running now. Uh, yeah. So it's no totally mo silent. It's totally silent. There's no noise at all. You have a forward and reverse. Reverse uh -huh. has a beeper. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, the yeah, people yeah. behind you know it's going to be in reverse. And forward is just forward. Huh. Okay.